yeah, we can't help ourselves. We're driving by, and every time we see a uh, a second-hand dealer, where uh, we stop. So here we are. We'll show you about this. We'll show you what's in this one. Ooh, I like the look of uh, I like the look of that for the dining room. Forty euro, and it's full of spares, so that's good value. What else have we got? We could turn that into something for our entranceway. How cool is that? So it's in two pieces, so we could get a marble top on it or something. Yep. And where's the bride? Where are you, huh? There's some great stuff in here. What have you got? Chesterfield. No, it's not a chest, it's just a leather, but look, we want a sofa bed. But um, have a look at this piano forte. Remember these? Oh, yes. We saw them at a, uh, another second hand. At that the was, Mercato. At and the, they were selling these by themselves. In Florence. No, we know. What about this? This is even bigger than our... Uh, Dining room. It's huge. <laughs> How many lots is it? Mm. Hundreds. That one up there is cute. Yes, that is cute. That is cute. Tapestry is cool. He's got some great things. He has some amazing things. I'm great. I uh, gave you whiplash when I um, <coughs> turned in here and saw it. Oh, look at these tapestries both up here. <coughs> Excuse me, and I think everything's quite reasonably priced so far. These tapestries are very hard to find, aren't they? Yeah. Good ones are anyway. And I like these, so it's got a little bit of colour. Oh, we'll find out on the price, and uh, then it's up to me to haggle down, which I do enjoy, a bit of haggling, a bit of sportsmanship. Look what's on the door. Wow, impressive. Coluni di Cortona, and it's got the works, the address, people involved. Yeah, and our permit. That must be our must be our permit number. Yeah, project number. Wow, with a date. Fantastic. Okay. So let's let's have a look go in and see what they did while we were going. Okay, looks like we're not going to get any light or power in our building because the builders put in his uh, temporary safety board here 
Okay. So as you can see, Exhibit A. They've taken our wiring out of the house and plugged in this. So all the equipment is going to be safe and regulated by this box. Wow, that's a uh, that's a lot of Rio. Absolute lot of Rio. I hope you can see it guys, it's a little bit dark. I'm trying to shine as much light. So we've got all these rods coming out of the wall and coming out over this one. This is fantastic. tie rod going all the way across to the other wall. I think underneath is where the big beam is. Mm. Don't you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like every meter they've got uh, tie rods into the wall, so that's going to tie everything together. That's amazing, isn't it? Great work. So neat. Once they get those fasteners in, then they can lay the concrete. But I've got no idea how they're going to get the concrete up here. Through the maybe, window? Maybe through the window if they can get a small enough pump into the laneway and then pump it up through the window with a hose. Or it's going to be... Buckets. Every man and his dog are carrying these buckets up one by one by one. But it's a big area. Can I might guess? go shopping that day. Looks huge. Look, yeah, I think, <laughs> think you better look yourself. Can I turn this oil? Yeah. Alright, so yeah, who knows. So they're going to get concrete up to here and then concrete up to level two. We'll see. All right, we're good. Very impressed. And yeah. Uh, so these are the famous fasteners that we've been waiting for. So they've been manufactured, especially for this job. As you can see, it's got a screw end in here and a uh, piece up the top. You can use a shifter. Hex, hex stop. I'll show you where they are. So there they are there. Can you see them? Yep. There, there, there. So they screw in all the way and then they set up ready for the concrete. And just explain to me what these, why these... Ah, my they in English. <laughs> no? <laughs> Your English is very good. No, no. But if you want to use them in Italian, you can use them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright. I'll try and translate. So let's go. These are connectors. So these are connections? Connectors? See? Connectors structural. Structural, yeah. They serve to consolidate the soil. Ora noi andremo a fare una gettata di cemento e il massetto faremo questo ma con la rete che abbiamo messo in ferro sì. questi connettori questo diventa un unico corpo quindi okay. consolidiamo il solaio. So this this is pretty much consolidating all of the the rio the rio and the rods the, the rods questi connettori vengono applicati sui travi i travi portanti della casa. Sì sì sì. So they are all tied together. So it's all per qui, non non c'è bisogno di un'altra parte. No, perché qui abbiamo solo questo trave. Oh, okay. So, so this is the main connecting rod, so that's why these are for here. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, the stesso. Esatto. Okay. So, so they don't need to go everywhere else. They're at the main rod, the main okay. connecting rod, which is going to pull everything together. No, no, no we start. Now we're going to start. The okay. Yeah, so the other thing we needed to uh, double check is the archway. Uh, we went back to the, um, I saw some lines when we came up the other day, that's sort of started at various spots, not where we thought it was going to start and end, isn't that right? Correct. What was so now a little bit too much biting you the kitchen part into here. Yeah. Now we've got the architect to um, send us over some measurements, we're going to measure that now. Where's that other one about? Turn it around over. Turn it around over. So this is 134. In. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, then we got Dory Jam for G1. Yep. So 2500. Okay, why is Dory Matri at the edge? You can't. So 
Ah, qui se coule. They're starting to pour the concrete today. And I say we're going to have to get out of their way soon. Here we go. Queste che, che, si, che si usano? Che, che, che tavola che sono? Sì, ci vuoi mettere qualsiasi cosa, ci vuoi mettere una tavola sopra, mi piace, ma non so. Metti così. Sì, ci metti una tavola e ci fa un tavolo sì, sopra. Ok. Sai, è just a table, just you put the top sì, on. Sì, una viti sopra chiaramente. Una viti, sì, sì, sì. Ok. Mi piacciono questo. Sì, questo, i pezzi stanno qua dentro. Okay, okay. Questo te lo posso fare 30 euro. 30, okay. 30 euro. Okay, questo lo prendo, 30, sì. get F30. Ok. Um, il tavolo, il tavolo quello che giù sì, costa un prezzo quanto? Quello non posso non meno, ho già fatto un prezzo basso perché okay. è appena arrivato. Sì, sì, that's, okay. that's his foreign price. E right. questo non lo so. Yeah. Questo è di tu. <laughs> E qua ci abbiamo il prezzo di questo? Ti posso qua. fare 60 euro, sì, ma sì. sono belli, sono tutti scopiti, c'è anche uno stemma, guarda, vedi? Sì, sì, sì. Sono sì, 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 sì. stemma nobiliare. E poi se c'è una bella tavola... Mm. Ok. Ok, ne prendiamo questo. Okay. 60, posso fare 60. 60? 60 for that, 30. 30 e, e 80. 80. Ok. Perfetto. Okay. Ti porto giù sì, questo? Sì, sì, dai. I have been hunting everyone for... Si! <laughs> a table for by the front door. So that's 80. We've got them for 60 and the lamp for 30. It's a bargain, that lamp. <laughs> Morning and buongiorno, everyone. Um, as you can see, my task for today is pretty much restoring the chandelier that we bought uh, for a bargain at uh, a second-hand store that we uh, happened to run into yesterday and uh, it was too good to uh, too good to, to not purchase because I think it's got a lot of potential and it's as lovely as it is now I think once we you know take it all back and polish everything up and, and clean all of the um, crystals I think it'll come up an absolute uh, absolute gem so so my plan is to strip all of these, these gems off and I'm pretty much soak them all and as you can see they're, they're pretty, pretty dirty so put them in the bucket so the gentleman had all the spares here so these are all going in the bucket and we're going to soak those in some sort of a solution, maybe some vinegar, vinegar and water. There's probably enough, a little bit of detergent in there. So as you can see, there they're ready to go. 
I'll take all of these off. Once I've stripped all these off, then it's a matter of polishing back all of the metal. Okay, so there we go, it's all done. It's been cleaned, everything's been cooked back. I'm not sure if it was how it was originally, but I think it looks quite nice. And I haven't scrubbed it too much because you still want that old look about it. But um, yeah, I think it's come up a treat, absolute treat. All it needs now is a uh, dining room to hang it in. Yeah, you've done an amazing job. Pretty heavy too, by the way. Yeah. So hopefully next time you see this, it'll be hanging up in our uh, in our dining room. Great work, Phil. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and set notifications to on so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.